In this alternate world, a centuries-long war between humans and vampires has devastated the planet's surface and led to a theocracy under an organization called the Church. Despite the vampire's vulnerability to sunlight and all of mankind's technological advances, the vampire's greater strength and speed made them impossible to defeat, until humanity sheltered themselves in giant walled cities and trained a group of elite warriors, the priests, which turned the tide. In the opening scene, a team of priests enters the Sola Mira hive hunting for the Vampire Queen. They realize too late that they are in a trap and are quickly ambushed by the vampires. They try to escape, however one of their members is dragged away screaming. Years later, the majority of the vampires have been killed, while the remainder were placed in reservations. With the war over, the clergy disbanded the priests. Outside the walled cities, some humans seek out a living, free from the totalitarian control of the church. On a farm away from the city, a family is settling in for dinner. The father Owen is at odds about his daughter's promiscuous behavior but her attitude towards him shows she does not care. They try to have dinner but at that moment, the entire cabin begins to shake. Outside, a horde of vampires are charging towards the house. The mother leads her daughter to the cellar, telling her to be quiet. Owen grabs his gun and tries to fight back but as the girl listens, her parents are slaughtered mercilessly. In shock she watches the door swing open and someone kidnaps her. Next we see Cathedral City, a dark gloomy place with thousands of humans, all under the protection and control of the church. At a cathedral nearby, Priest tries to warn the leader of the church, Monsignor Arellas, about his visions of a war with the vampires, but he is dismissed and told to repent. Priest returns home and finds a man waiting for him there. The man is Hicks, a sheriff from a town nearby. He tells Priest about the attack on his brother Owen and that Lucy was taken. The priest was hesitant because he was no longer authorized. He approached the church to ask for a possible reinstation, telling them about a vampire attack but the old leaders did not believe his claims and ordered him to not question their authority or act without permission. The priest was then in a bar when the church sent mercenaries to capture him, knowing his true intentions, but priest manages to take out the guards with his training easily and escape. He is now a wanted man by the church, so he prepares to wage a one-man war to get back his niece without the blessing of the church. With his sense of duty guiding him, Priest sets out across the apocalyptic landscape on his rocket bike. After a few days he arrived at the destroyed farm where he meets up with Hicks and the two went in search of Lucy. They reach to a town where it turns out Owen is not dead but very close. Owen regrets not being able to save his daughter and Priest promises his brother to get her back. With news of the rogue Priest reaching the church, they summon the other warriors, ordering them to bring Priest back, dead or alive. After burying his brother, the two arrive at a reservation where humans called familiars, people infected with a pathogen that makes them subservient to the vampires, live alongside a number of the surviving vampires. They head underground where they encounter a shriveling familiar, who seems half crazy. Priest wants to know where Lucy is being held, but just then a group of familiars begin attacking, forcing Hicks to defend them while making a hasty retreat. He is cornered, but Priest comes to his rescue. Priest takes out the familiars with his blade, saving Hicks. He corners one familiar, demanding information about Lucy, but just then the sun begins to go down. This is not good as the vampires will soon emerge. As darkness descends, the white-skinned no-eyed creatures begin to emerge, surrounding Priest and Hicks. Priest is ready, he masterfully uses shurikens to take out a few vampires until the rest jump in on the action. These creatures are fast but as Priest takes out the last attackers, the others flee. The familiar is about to talk, but a vampire kills him. After taking out the last vampire, the two plan to check the largest hive, sensing that something is wrong there. On a train, we see that Lucy is being held in a cage as a man in a black hat walks nearby. He goes to meet with a man who claims to have seen Priest. The man asks for compensation for the information, however Black Hat instead attacks him and transforms him into a familiar. On the other side of town, the church's assassins are on Priest's trail. As Priest and Hicks rest, it is revealed that Hicks is Lucy's boyfriend, explaining his motivation to saving her. Priest warns that if she is infected, he will be forced to kill her, but Hicks promises that he will stop him. They get to a massive hive climbing hundreds of feet to get inside. It is the same cave where he lost his friends before. He jumps into the dark crypt with a flashlight, searching for any signs of life. Something dashes past him and he gives chase. He is attacked but it turns out to be a priestess sent to hunt him. 
Hicks is up above when a massive hive guardian attacks him. Priest and the woman jump into action right away. They can only evade the beast as it is too powerful. At that moment, Priest summon his training. He charges at the beast, the woman throws rocks helping to lift him towards the charging monster, which he takes out with a swift attack. The warriors are concerned, as a hive guardian means that it is guarding something. They walk until they get to a newly built chamber, realizing that the vampires have bred a new army. They follow a newly dug tunnel leading outside, in the direction of a town which is in great danger. At a train station, a large train pulls up. The attendant goes to check it out but is quickly killed by Black Hat, who turns out to be Priest's old friend. He unleashes the newly bred vampires onto the town, massacring the residents to his pleasure. At that moment, three priests came to stop him. One steps forward, but his heart is ripped out in an instant. He gives the others the choice of following him or ending up like their dead priest. It is the next morning when Priest and his companions turn up at the village, but after searching, they realize that no human has survived. Outside, their three friends are crucified to their horror. They realize that the vampires are using the train line, which leads towards Cathedral City. With their companions dead, the priests understand that they are the last line of defense and need to find the train as soon as possible. The plan is for the priestess to go ahead of the train and blow up the tracks, while Priest and Hicks board the train to rescue Lucy. At that moment, Hicks drew his pistol and aimed it at Priest, making him promise not to harm Lucy. He thinks Priest does not care, but he learns that Lucy is actually Priest's daughter, and Owen actually married Priest's ex-wife. The three get ready to execute the plan and Priest rides to the front, while Hicks boards from the back. The familiars see Priestess and give chase but she manages to keep ahead of them and plant the explosives on the track. Priest gets on the roof of the train where he is confronted by Black Hat. Black Hat reveals that after he fell into the hive, the Vampire Queen pitted him and transformed him into the first human-vampire hybrid, able to withstand the sun. The two jump into combat, exchanging blows, with Priest barely avoiding the overpowered Black Hat. Priestess is preparing to blow the tracks when she is attacked by the familiars who caught up with her. Priestess shows her training in using weapons and her skills, she manages to take out all the familiars, however realizes too late that one of the men actually destroyed her detonator. Priest is defending well but a powerful punch sends him flying. Black Hat warns him to join him and the vampires as they plan to take over the world, but Priest refuses and is sent flying off the train. At the back of the train, Hicks comes upon a car filled with vampire egg sacs. Sensing his presence, the vampires begin bursting out after him. Hicks runs to another car where he sees Lucy being taken away by a familiar. Just then, Priest manages to come back on board the train and the two give chase. They are about to rescue Lucy, but Black Hat reappears and throws Hicks from the train. He throws Priest around, until Lucy is able to break free and try to attack him. He reveals to Lucy that Priest is her father, before he knocks her out. Black Hat then pins Priest to the wall with a dagger in his shoulder and escapes with Lucy. Having lost her detonator, Priestess decides to strap the bombs to her bike and ride head first towards the train. On the roof, Black Hat is about to bite Lucy, but Priest injures him with a crucifix blade and manages to grab Lucy before she falls. At that moment, they see Priestess heading towards them. She manages to jump from the bike before it collides with the train, causing a massive explosion. After the chaos, Priest sees Black Hat's hat, floating in the wind, hopefully dead from the blast. After this, Priest returns to Cathedral City, as the leader Monsignor Arellas is holding mass. He scolds Priest for showing his face in the city, but Priest throws a vampire's head at his feet. Even with this, Monsignor Arellas still refuses to believe that the vampires have returned. Next, we see Priest and Priestess, heading out to wage war against the newly bred vampires. Thanks for watching. If you like this movie recap, remember to subscribe to the Sci-Fi Nerd for more movies like this. See you soon.